god. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, that was a big one. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a bit of a sweet day today. We're going to say goodbye to our old girl. It's been a good run, but we've sold her now. So we're going to head up to Carnarvon, North Wales, and then Harden to drop her off. We're actually taking pictures of another plane today. Yep, so I'm going to set the GoPros up. We're going to go past um, Snowdonia, so should be some good views. Yeah, let's get going. What a day. What a day. I love these little trips we do, guys. It's been a while. Yeah. Quite a big one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, these are knackers. <laughs> trim, trim is set with the, we won't need any flaps, but might go on a while. November 47494, lining up runway 28 for a departure. November 47492, surface wind 182 <laughs> degrees, 10 knots. Reese. Number 47494, rolling runway 28, copy wind. These peas are in the green. Speed to live times two. 75. Gear coming up. Beautiful. I think this is one of the best airports I've ever taken off from, like, views-wise. That's lovely, mate, right? yeah. I'm going to miss this place. Yeah. Me too. Oh. Hi, everyone. As you know, um, we are delivering this lovely Piper Arrow to uh, its new owner. Uh, unfortunately, we have really enjoyed flying this Arrow. Uh, we've been flying it for probably about eight months now, and it is an absolutely awesome machine. Um, for what it does, I mean, it, it, it can do at least 130, 540 knots, burning sort of 11 to 12 gallons an hour. Um, and that's mainly because of its low prestige speed mods. It's got a really, really vast array of uh, speed modifications from the from the new cowling on the front with a cow flap, which is unusual on an arrow, to the wing root fairings, to the uh, flap and aileron uh, fillers. That, that really helps um, increase the speed of this arrow. And with all its kit in it as well, it's got a really good autopilot, s 55 x autopilot, it's got a Aberdyne IFD 440, uh, an Aspen Evolution uh, PFD, and it makes this arrow a lovely machine to fly. Uh, and we are really going to miss it, unfortunately. So before we, we drop this off with the new owner, we're actually going to we're going to go over to Carnarvon. Uh, so we're we're currently coming up to kind of Snowdon, and we're going to we're going to navigate around that. Anna and I are going to jump out of Carnarvon. We've got some photos to do of a, another aircraft that we've got coming on, a, a Cherokee 180. Um, so look out for that. That'll be coming soon. Mike's going to then go and pick up the new owner from Harden and do some circuits and just get him familiar with the aircraft uh, before we then come home a bit later. Five degrees left, two hours. I can't believe how quick we've just got here. We have got to basically Liverpool in an hour and a half. From Kent. We sell time machines. Yeah. Hold on the number 47494, now I'm going over to uh, Valley on 125225. Number 47494, we just call Consecuity Free Call Valley. Thanks for the call today. Bye bye. So is this started then? Yeah. I might actually Picture. We just need a minute here, right? Yeah. Just to take this in. Boom. Mate, the airport's dead ahead. Okay, brakes are off. Mixture leaving as it is moment. Let's check the alternate there. That's all good. Fuel pump on, landing lights off. Hatches harness is all good, guys. Yep. 
Beautiful, beautiful airfield. Yeah, mate. Right. Yeah, right. Four seven four nine four, final to land zero seven. Seven seven one five zero and five knots. That could be it right there, Anna. Oh yeah, link. All right, to the very end, please, uh, vacate right, follow it around, and I'll put you on stand number six in front of the tower, thank you. All the way to the end, uh, right, and your taxi is rounded to the stand, 47494, thank you. We just landed, uh, just flying over Snowden, unreal. Um, we've just spotted the arrow that we're going to take pictures of. We're going to pull up, Mike's going to fly to Harden whilst I take the photos. It's and now a good time to tell you it's not an arrow we're doing as well. Yeah, it's a Cherokee 180. I didn't think it... <laughs> I didn't think it was that. <laughs> Something didn't sound right. Oh, okay, yeah. Hi guys, yes, yeah, so we're at Carnarvon now. I'm with the Cherokee, and I've got to say, in person, it looks so brand new. It's just had a fresh paint job, so it's looking nice and fresh, and the interior is quite nice as well. Um, I just can't get over. In the pictures, you'll see I've literally got Snowden behind me. Unbelievable. Four seven four nine four PA twenty eight on the uh, heli eight heli apron requesting taxi for flight back to Harden uh, four PMB. And then the final four requesting taxi to Alpha please on runway zero seven left hand on the QFE one zero zero one. Alpha for runway zero seven left hand one zero zero one four seven four nine four. Just be mindful of the building and unit turbulence uh, can cause a problem. The other uh, chapel department earlier in the RV had a bit of a handful there. Copied, okay, thanks very much for the update. Basically, the buildings can cause turbulence. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> you alright, mate? <laughs> yeah. Power <laughs> set. T's and P's are in the green, speeds are live times two. Wee. That's what you meant. That's what you meant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even at 23, 23, they were still doing. Oh. They were still doing. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah, 120, 324 knots, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Crazy. Right in the middle of a video, then. <laughs> <laughs> Your phone was in the ceiling. That's why my face was going, ooh, what? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is horrible. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, Yeah, maybe I'll need that. It's, be <laughs> it's because we're on the the bad side of the mountains where it the wind's is. hitting them. It it's is. Coming over the back. Now I'll see. I like cars, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wheels on the ground. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> Let's slow it down a little bit more. <laughs> Oh, that was a big one. Oh my yeah. god. That was the biggest. Let's go this way eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I hit my head so many times there. <laughs> I'm so excited to watch that back. <laughs> right, so we're 120 knots. Bring the power back a little bit. We can put the gear down. It's with the low 130. See, it wants to balloon up just like the old pack gear. Yeah, just like the flaps do. It's easy to balloon up, Three greens, it's all good. And then at the same time, we're down, down, coming close to 100, 105 knots for our flat speed. Mixture yeah. can go rich. 
and then we do one stage of lap now. Do some trimming. And we're coming down nicely. That's a crosswind, isn't it? It is, Jack. One, four, zero degrees. One, one, good thing, two, three. Nicely done, sir. Oh, that was a bit of a oh, That was a handful. Then. That was a handful, Jesus. Beluga. <laughs> it's so ugly, isn't it? Look at the size of it. 494, VK8, next convenient right. VK8, next right, 494. Right, guys, we just landed in Harden from Carnarvon. Bit of a bumpier road than on the way there. But yeah, now's the time to say goodbye to the Arrow. Um, and we're going to get into a Cherokee now to go back to Rochester. No, Manston. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, the listing for the Cherokee I just took pictures of should be up now actually. So here's the link. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please subscribe to our channel. And let us know what you think in the comments.